people are always asking me, why are you here? And I say to them, I'm here to help you. And what's the code for the bathroom? Who am I? I've been helping companies grow and leaders succeed since 1975. To give you a little idea of my track record, I was born in 1974. <laughs> my favorite thing is when someone I've worked with calls me on the phone or sends me an email or shoots me a text or runs into someone who knows me and tells them to tell me in person or just tells me themselves in person. I like when people tell me things in person. That's why I do this. Successful people, they know the decisions they're going to make that day because they thought of them the day before. Because that's actually when your day starts. Two days before is when your day starts. Three days before is when your day starts. Four days before is when your day starts. And the fifth day, you're done. I treat the root causes. That means I need to go home with you. I need to sleep at your house. I need to use your bathroom. If your child wakes up screaming in the middle of the night, I'll be the first one he sees. What successful people do is they shock their system. I cryogenically freeze myself every morning for 20 minutes. I have a video that I watched to replenish my memories. Now I have a fresh perspective on how to succeed because the old me is dead, literally. I may not recognize who my children are, but some things are gonna naturally fall by the wayside as you grow your business. So they say to me, Daddy, Daddy, who are you today? I say, who are you? And do you work for me? One of my favorite questions I get asked a lot is, why are you doing this to me? Whenever I meet someone new, I create a dialogue with someone. Well, how do you create a dialogue? Well, automatically I ask them two questions off the bat. Where did you come from and where are your children? Every company is different. Some need new desks. Others need a whole new email program. Others need to get rid of that one guy. My first job is to tell a company, get rid of that guy. I'm not always right. Successful people listen. Unsuccessful people talk and talk and they drive people away. That's why they die alone. To my critics who call my methods ineffective and worthless, ineffective and worthless are just words and words have no meaning. Also, you're garbage. I had a colleague once, he came up to me and he said, do you want to go get a bite to eat? And I said to him, when are you going to step into your light? <laughs> and he said to me, I really was just asking you to get a bite to eat. And I said, I know that's what you said with your mouth, but I heard something different. And he looked up at me and he said, no one's ever heard me like that before. I said, I know. Now let's go get that bite but I don't eat dairy, so can we go someplace with options? Let me come in and speak to your people and your company and share with you the secrets that the business world doesn't want you to know, like how to maximize your morning routine for success or harness other people's life force for your own good. Your boss might say to you, when are you gonna have that report for me? And you're gonna say to them, when are you gonna stop hurting yourself emotionally? <laughs> and they're gonna say to you, I want you to leave this company with me. <laughs> I'm not a magician. I'm just an ordinary person with all of the answers. Thank you. <laughs>